All right, good morning. Um, we just posted the Couch to 5K for day 17 today. Uh, we also want to talk about days four and five um, of our consecration to St. Joseph. Um, sorry we didn't get one posted yesterday. Uh, with Good Friday, I, I just lost track of time. Um, so we'll do both today. Uh, they coincide with each other today, day four. Um, God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. And then God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. We look at those two topics. First of all, there was nothing more precious in the life of St. Joseph than Mary, his wife, and Jesus, his son. And in the same manner as Mary, Joseph loved Jesus above all because he loved his God above all. And his entire life was aimed at protecting and serving the son of God so that Jesus could be allowed to fulfill his mission later on in life. The thing about it is we have to remember Jesus was man, and we believe that he also, um, in a mysterious way, learned as a man. He had to learn how to walk. He had to learn how to crawl. Um, he had to learn how to work with his hands. Um, to a certain extent, he had to learn um, human virtue, um, working hard, um, you know, living by the sweat of your brow, how to interrelate with other human beings. He chose to enter into man or enter into his humanity. And by doing so, he also chose to learn. But he also gave himself a, a cheat card because he gave himself Joseph. I don't mean that in a derogatory way, obviously, but Joseph is the most perfect man. Outside of Christ, there's not been a man that has been more perfect on this earth. But that was Joseph's entire role and he picked it up well to teach the son, to let him learn from him, to give him everything that he needed to become a, a perfect human being, to suffer well in his humanity, to use the gifts that his humanity had given him to be able to relate with other human beings. Joseph helped to teach him all of that, docility, peacefulness, love, courage, devotedness to those around him. Joseph was all about the Son of God. Joseph was all about Christ. He knew that that was his mission to teach him, to bring him up, to keep him safe, and he did that well. So we'll not find another man that is more devoted to the Son of God than Joseph was and is. So in the same manner that Mary takes us to straight to the arms of Christ, Joseph does the same thing. He's always going to bring us to his Son. The second thing that we talk about today, the second aspect is the Holy Spirit. We need not look further than Joseph to see how the Holy Spirit can work perfectly in somebody's life to lead them in the direction they're supposed to go. The Holy Spirit guiding Joseph his entire life and Joseph saying yes. We talk much about Mary's fiat, her yes to God in her yes to the angel Gabriel. Joseph did the same. He heard the angel speak to him in the dream. He, the angel guided him along the path that he needed to go uh, to protect him and to protect his family. And he did so perfectly. Um, he did so. He handed his will over to God through the Holy Spirit, gave his will completely over to him. And so if we want to know what it's like uh, to follow the Holy Spirit and to, to give our will over to him, we need look no further than Joseph, somebody who put his trust completely in the will of the Spirit and allowed the Spirit to guide him his whole life so that he could most perfectly fulfill his mission. So we thank Joseph for his, con for his consecration and dedication to our Lord. And we thank him for his openness to the Spirit to listen to him no matter what he was asked. And so we pray. My Father and my guardian, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Wherefore, O good Father, since I am your own, keep me and guard me as your property and possession. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. God bless.